Hello, this is the Lee Time 12 volt, 100 amp hours, lithium iron phosphate leisure battery. So this serves as a replacement for most uh, 12 volt lead acid leisure batteries with the proviso that you don't use this for starting engines. It's not designed to provide that much current. However, from the manual you can see that the maximum continuous uh, charge and discharge current is 100 amps and in fact you can discharge it at up to 280 amps for 5 seconds. So let's get straight on with charging this battery. I'm just going to remove these protective covers and I'll get the supplied bolts and bolt covers. Here they are, they're M8 bolts with integral washers and you get a couple of plastic covers for protection. So let's start fitting these bolts to the battery. Now I don't have a purpose designed lithium ion phosphate battery charger. So I'm actually gonna use this lead acid battery charger. It's a Milenko 10 by Optimate. You do have to be cognizant of the fact that this will uh, charge at a constant current, then a constant voltage but then continue to charge um, with a float charge. Now there's a section in the manual that explains the difference between charging lithium ion phosphate, which is actually simpler. It's constant current and then constant voltage. Lead acid battery chargers tend to do constant current, constant voltage, and then some sort of continuous maintenance charge or float charge or trickle charge, you could call it. The battery charger does appear to be charging, the charge light is on. You can see here that this thing says it does various steps. Uh, battery save if it's at a low voltage, then charge, then test, then maintain. Essentially the same as this graph. Let's check if it's charging. I'll just zero out the ammeter and we'll check the current. And yes, that's charging at 3.6 amps. Now these batteries are supplied about 40% charged. That means there's 60 amp hours to go. So 3.6 amps, that's going to take quite a while. The only issue with using a lead acid battery charger on this battery is that after the battery is completely fully charged, the charger will continue to push current into this battery and it will eventually go over voltage and the BMS will cut off the charge circuitry. And so for that reason, I'm going to keep an eye on the voltage of this battery using my multimeter. I've added a solar panel to the mix because, well, because it's sunny. Just another current source to uh, help push the battery voltage up. The battery is up to 14.2 volts. So I'll keep going and see at what voltage the battery switches off its charge MOSFETs. The manual says charge to between 14.2 and 14.6 volts. We're at 14.3, so it's doing well. It also says that the over voltage disconnect will be 15 volts. The sun's come back out. The lead acid battery charger is now thinking, oh, I need to do some sort of maintenance stuff. So it stopped charging, but that's fine because the solar panel Ah, and there it is. It was about 14.4 something volts. Just a bit about the size and weight of this battery. It's 13 inches wide and 6.77 front to back and it's 8.43 inches tall and the battery weighs 11 kilograms. I'm now set up for doing a full discharge of the Lee Time battery. I've got my monitor, battery set to 100%. I've called it 120 amp hours so that we can see what uh, a capacity there is over 100 amp hours. Let's start the discharge by connecting bulbs. I've got a few extra bulbs this time. A uh, couple of um, H7s there. Okay, let's plug in the H4s. And there we are. That's running and we're counting down. 
99% and we're down to 119 point something amp hours and counting back in a few hours the battery is down to just under 12 volts now of course the current's fallen it was 17 amps it's now 16.3 and we're approaching the point where the battery will drop out the question is will that 21.6 amp hours go below 20 which would uh, mean that we've got the full 100 amp hours from this battery uh, these lamps have been on for many hours it's a very warm day today it's exceedingly hot in the shed it's about 40 degrees the uh, amp hours remaining has dipped under 20 so that means we've got the full 100 amp hours from the Li Time uh, 100 amp hour battery and the voltage is still at 11.48 volts so I'll come back for a final result of uh, battery capacity when the lights go out there it is I think it was about 10.3 or 10.4 volts and the final result is a little bit under 102 amp hours. So that's the Li Time LifePo 4 12 volt, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Um, it is 100 amp hours. In fact, it's just shy of 102 amp hours. It's very easy to charge. You can't really go wrong um, as long as you stay within the uh, 100 amp charge current because the battery will simply cut off charge if one of its cells goes over voltage um, you can discharge up to 100 amps 280 amps for up to five seconds and as lead time say on their website if you wanted lead acid with the equivalent capacity of this battery it would be about five times the weight links for this battery in the description below the video cheerio